You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thanks, Marshall. This video is in uh, response to a video by the master teacher, BGS. It, his video was entitled The Retail Apocalypse Continue Best Buy and Toys R Us And The video is in the description box Check it out And you know I don't. I never do really do the point by point thing I just add my two cents to it You know And you know He read articles uh, I believe they were both from Business Insider About uh, the retail apocalypse Affecting Best Buy and Toys R Us I knew about Toys R Us, but I wasn't too sure about Best Buy. And, you know, well, I'll get into Toys R Us in a second, but with Best Buy, I'm not actually surprised. You know, and I, it's funny, I, I actually need them to stay in business for two years because I got this microphone after a lot of people complained uh, about the volume on some of my videos. Finally had to... Uh, any up and get a Yeti from Best Buy, but the thing was, I could have bought it from Walmart. I could have ordered it online. I, I mean, I didn't have to go to Best Buy, and I think that's part of the problem. You got these big old stores, and they don't have anything unique. And you know, the master teacher uh, gave me a shout out in a video, and you know, because I had talked about uh, you know niche type of businesses, and I, I'm gonna get into that in a second. But it's nothing unique in there. You know, like a, I'll probably get another laptop, but I can actually get that from Target and on a, like with a 5% discount because uh, if I get a laptop, it'll be for specific reasons. I don't need a big bells and whistles type of laptop. And plus, you can get those almost any place and plus you can order them. You know, like my local Best Buy, a lot of what they do is like uh, phones and phone stuff. You walk in, it's like phones. And I'm like, well, you can get this someplace else. You know, you can get everything. I think they have furniture in there. You can get that someplace else. And in fact, there was a um, there was a business near me that just went out of business. H. H. Gregg. I mean, they had a big old building, ironically next to the Toys R Us in my area. But we'll get to that in a second. They went out of business. It, I mean, a lot of stuff you can get someplace else, and probably cheaper, and probably some like a place like Target. You could probably get credit there easily too. So people will buy from those places. And, you know, it's, and it's still a consequence of the online thing, too. Like, um, usually if I go in Best Buy, I'm usually, like, with my sons. And what they do, they just, they'll just look at uh, the uh, computer, you know, the uh, video games and everything. But at home, they could just, they could go in there and they can look at, like, the actual package. But then, you know, they come home. I got a PS4 for them. They can just go to the website and just download the game. I mean, you know, the stuff is programmed in. They get it out of my account. And it's like, boom. So it's like, okay, well, what do you need? What do you really need the hard the hard thing for? And that's, I guess that's, that's probably, I mean, I haven't dealt with other uh, video game consoles, but that's probably the case. So it's like, okay, you're taking that out the picture. You know, TVs. Jeez, you can go almost any place and get a TV. Unless they got some super duper, like, project the images right up to you or bring you right into the screen, and they don't have that yet. But, you know, it's like, hmm, you kind of start seeing. And I know at my, uh, you know, Best Buy's, they sell in, like, washers and dryers. Once again, something that you can get someplace else. Ranges, you can get that someplace else. You know, it's like... With a lot of things, is nothing unique about what they're selling, and it's really is hurting a lot of businesses. You know, it's hurting a lot of businesses. It's like, well, why come here? You know, and then um, Toys R Us. That's an interesting thing because, um, you know, once again, well, I think that might. You know, I have to check the demographics. I have to check the demographics. Maybe the kid. Well, you know what? A lot of kids aren't buying toys like that anymore. It's like once you get them a, a video game console or something, they good. It's like you can, 
And even the ones who are playing sports, you don't, you know, you go to a sports stop shop and get some. You so far, I haven't seen anything about sports shops going out of business or having any issues. So as long as people still playing sports, they hey, that might be something to get into. But it's nothing, it, you know, it's nothing unique there. In fact, the Toys R Us in my area, you know, it's a baby R Us in there as well. So it's like they kind of split the store. But it was like at one time it was just all toys and it's just been going down. In fact, um, I really do need to maybe look up demographics or something because I'm noticing a lot of um, you still could find toy stores any place. You could like fall over them. You go to malls and stuff, you you know, during the Christmas season, you got kiosks full of them. And I've noticed that at my local mall. I haven't seen that. It's like people ain't really buying that anymore. You know, a lot of people just getting, you know, a lot of these kids, they just getting on, you know, if they get a smartphone, they download some games on there and it's like, boom. So that online thing is affecting everything. And, you know, Amazon was mentioned uh, in in the video, right? And, you know, Amazon, like I was uh, waiting for some food the other day, right, at this place. And so, you know, while they were making it, I, like, stepped outside, went to, like, this little uh, convenience store and was just, like, looking at, um, like, a newspaper ad. Now, this is in the Baltimore area. Uh, apparently, they're trying to get, uh, in Baltimore County, they're trying to get an Amazon distribution center. Now, see, that might be the thing. Amazon, with the distribution centers, or maybe, and I can see them doing this having centers where people can just actually come and pick up the stuff. And, you know, they, shoot, I wouldn't put it past them. And see, that's affecting a lot of people. See, they selling everything on Amazon and they getting so big. I mean, shoot, I'm getting my cut from book sales on Amazon and ebook sales on Amazon. So, you know, that's putting a lot of people out. But you know what? That's capitalism, yo. Survival of the fittest. It is what it is. So it's like, hey, you had to compete with it. Now, um, you know, BGS mentioned in my um, in his video about, you know, I talked about niche businesses. That's pretty much going to be it. I I still think you got to have something just very unique, like comic book stores. They still doing well because there's a comic book store in my area. Right. And this particular store actually has three stores. It's actually becoming a little chain It's probably it probably keep expanding, too. That's one of those places where, yeah, you can order. I mean, you can order comic books online, but just the atmosphere and the ambiance and everything, it's going to be one of those places people going to go. Or if, uh, I don't know, it's uh, like uh, in my local mall, and I've talked about this before, there's uh, about two or three stores that just sell like candles and fragrances and everything. That's one of those things you don't really, you ain't going to really order that online. I mean, I'm sure people do anyway, but that's one of those things you need to kind of go in there, smell it, all that stuff. You know, those are stores that are going to stay in business or maybe some type of uh, specialty store. Like uh, also in my local mall, there's uh, one of those, I think it's Hot Topic or one of those type of uh, stores that kind of cater to golf. It's a... Uh, you know, they sell a lot of stuff for, you know, primarily to that particular subculture. So, you know, those type of stores are going to survive. But stuff where, you know, electronic stuff you can download is going out. Because there's like, also in my local mall, there's like this uh, store, uh, I think it's FYI. Or, I think. I, I never think about the name. I think that's the store, right? And I was noticing, I remember when I used to go in there, in there years ago and you had nothing, you had all the CDs and uh, videos and all of that, you know, stuff you can basically download. I've noticed recently they still have like some old CDs, but they selling vinyl records now and half the store is taken up by (laughs) t-shirts. We keep coming back to t-shirts. This, half the store is taken up by t-shirts and stuff now it's like and then they actually selling candy and everything else and i'm just like oh, okay they they're gonna they're gonna try with it but you know a lot of these stores i mean there's only so many t-shirts you can sell it's it's an oversaturated market but 
you know what? It's the change. Like, uh, you can still survive it and everything if you got a retail idea, but just make it unique. And if you have a retail space, make it someplace that people actually want to come to. Now, I've done some videos on, um, you know, creating a community. Make it someplace like a comic book store. That's kind of a community. If you, anybody know the ambience of it, because you go in there, they usually have a knowledgeable person, you know, the comic book guy or increasingly the comic book girl who knows, like, read half the books, can tell you stuff, recommend stuff, you know, can talk with all the nerdy type of guys and everything. Yeah, have some place like that. I think that will survive because people at the end of the day still need community. But it's a, it's an interesting it's an interesting dynamic. But you know what? No matter what's happening, what's going on, we still gonna get ours. Let's go make that money.